Hey everyone, welcome back to Metacrafts. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to go over how I made this Series 11 Gold Polybag Master Chief turn into this Series 11 Gold Polybag Master Chief, but more towards uh, the Halo 1 kind of art style. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the notification bell if you do. Share the video, and I'll also put videos that are similar to this that I've already made in the link in the description down below. Thanks for tuning in. So for the Series 11 Halo Construct bags, where you can get like eight random figures or whatever, you can get this gold Master Chief. And he's really cool, and I kind of like his, like just the gold like rarity because it is the Halo 1 Master Chief, which is one of my favorite armor sets from the Halo franchise. But I think it would look really cool if I made him the actual like color and design, but with a few like minor details and just kind of gave him overall a better look than just the gold. I have a few of these gold ones anyway, so we're gonna give that a shot. So I'm gonna take him outside, give him a black spray coat, and then I will come back in and we can start painting. Here's all the pieces, like a little helmet, all blacked up. So now I gotta figure out from a picture what parts need to be green and what part needs to stay black and then paint everything else green. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll start getting into painting. So here's a comparison between the two. The black one definitely showing out more of the detail now. Insane how much work goes into these little things. I definitely like the gold one, but I also think just by putting on a basic, oops, sorry, a basic spray coat of just black, it really makes this figure look even better in my eyes. So we're gonna hit it with this kind of bright green and we're gonna just do that because we can always add a wash later on to kind of dull the color. So let's go in. So like this. Needs to get a coat. Pretty much the whole shoulder protection piece needs a good coat. So there's a the sidearm pieces just painted up. And I really starting to like how this green was gonna work or how it's gonna look. Um, I didn't think it was going to look that good, but it is starting to kind of turn out and get like this really nice kind of like glowing green. And I might also go over it very lightly, kind of like a watered down, uh, a water brush with like a darker kind of, or like a lighter kind of green. But I also think when I hit it with a wash, because I'll try that first, it's going to really kind of like give this dull, bright effect with all the grooves and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to it. Everything on just to see um, if my painting skills are good enough to be able to kind of like slowly paint around a figure without getting too antsy but so far I'm really liking how it's looking I have the basic shades done I have the green on there it's not looking as dark of a green or as light of a green as I really want. It's kind of looking kind of like a blue, but I can still tell it's kind of like a light blue green, which is fine. I put on the visor, which was just gold paint. I made a um, an outline of gray on the assault rifle to make it look a little bit more realistic to the game. And then I also added a blue dot on the back, which was kind of like the count indicator for the magazine wear detailing. So we're gonna grab some gray paint, load up your brush. I'm using a very fine point brush right now and just kind of rub it off. So you just have a little bit and you're just gonna wanna go around to some spots and kind of nick the corners with paint. So let me find a good spot here. So like, like this arm piece right here. Okay. 
Get some gray on there. His knee pauldrons, places that he would be, you know, if he had to get on his knees or he's sliding or something, you can add a little bit more wear there because those places are going to get a little bit dirtier and they're also going to have more wear marks on them. Places like his foot, you can kind of pad some bottom pieces of the foot. You don't want to do too much, but just those little subtle details can make your figure look way different. So, and if you have a pose like this and the gun's going completely across his body like that, there's no need to really do any wear on the chest because no one's going to see the chest. Obviously, this is a Mega Bloks figure, so um, he can very easily be moved around and stuff, but we're not going to be moving him around that much. I'm pretty much just going to put him on a base later on or in a scene, and that's it. My paint scheme. I want to give him a wash. So I want to make him look dirtier and kind of bring out those details a little bit more. So I have this pan here. I have this little cup of black paint with water in it. So we're just going to pour that out. And all we're going to do is dip the figure in, shake him around a little bit, and then bring him back out and let him dry. And we're going to do that probably two to three times, depending on how it looks. And all you do is just set them over on the side. Put them on the side. Do that two or three times, and it's going to add small little details. Probably 10, 15 minutes in between each one. And then the figure's pretty much done. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you liked the little comparison and the slight different paint job on the new Master Chief. I really thought it looked pretty good for maybe took me an hour to paint this guy, which isn't bad at all. And yeah, if you have any more ideas, put them in the comment section down below. Make sure you like and subscribe, like I said earlier. And thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Have a good one.